Hey guys, how you doing? Have you ever wondered how I get all of this off my face at night when I do the super crazy looks? Obviously, if it's normal everyday makeup, a good makeup wipe is all you're going to need, right? You can find these anywhere. But when it's this crazy, how do you get it off? Coconut oil. You can also use baby oil, but the main thing is, is unless you have the most amazing makeup remover, but I've never found one that's easy to get this off, some kind of an oil base is always going to get it off easier. So with the coconut oil, it's pretty solid in there, but it warms up really fast in your hands or with your skin. Coconut oil has a pretty low melting point. And this is literally all I do. I just use the coconut oil. Now I'm a little worried about these circles because this was lipstick. Like all day lipstick. Like I've eaten and it's still on my lips kind of lipstick. And sometimes it does take a couple of tries. As you see, it's melting on my forehead even though. See those little rolls? That's my lipstick coming off. It's in my eyebrows. Like it's literally everywhere. And I'm going to look kind of retarded. Bye bye Yoda. Bye bye lightsabers. Those lightsabers, man, those were killer. They took forever, but they were worth it. Now uh, you can see it's kind of easy to kind of pick off the um, eyeliner that has dried. Like liquid eyeliner is kind of crazy too. Do I look insane yet? A, a little bit. Yeah, kind of. The nice thing about this is because it's coconut oil, not only is it natural, but it's also moisturizing. So you're not drying the crap out of your face while you're trying to take this off. This is legitimately just a Kleenex. Like, I probably should have grabbed an actual towel or had one of those face wipes out, but I didn't. This is literally a Kleenex. And other than pot potentially ripping because they're thin. Look at that. Now, this look was pretty crazy. It, it might take a couple tries. There is a lot on my face. I'm worried that I'm going to have these little red spots on my cheeks for a couple days. I have no idea the number of layers that are on my eye right now. I redid this Yoda like three times, trying to make it look cool. And then I still wasn't sure how I felt about it. I felt like it kind of looked halfway between Yoda and the child from Mandalorian. But as things go, that's not bad for a first run, right? I've got stuff everywhere. The other thing that's good about it being coconut oil is that if it does in fact get into your mouth, it's not, it's coconut oil. It's not gonna hurt you if you get it in your mouth. You might not want the makeup in your mouth too, but yeah, let's actually get a real wood wipe. See now if I had actually Gone with a wipe right after that oil instead of the Kleenex because I'm a tard. And get even more off. Oh, removing makeup is not pretty. Not pretty at all. Let's see, look at that. That's a little bit of coconut oil and one makeup wipe. We'll make a bright wipe that isn't even totally dead yet. I have little pills of stuff all over me. Now, if you saw my video earlier and realized I was wearing a white Darth Vader shirt, and you wonder why I'm not still wearing that, maybe because I had to stain the cabinets in my bathroom. Dark, 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 and I was not going to get that all over my Darth Vader. So this is just more of the same quick and red oil. I need to get this lipstick off. This lipstick is no joke, let me tell you. I probably could use my mascara melt off on my eyelashes, but honestly, the coconut oil works too. Uh, it does feel a little weird rubbing oil of some sort all over your face. I feel like I got a hair. Yep, right there. Now this is mascara that does not does not come off easy. But it doesn't come off too bad with this. Oh, okay, so it really wants to hold on. It really is 
good mascara. That's a trooper man, let me tell you. So, <laughs> wow. This lipstick. Didn't I say I might have to be stuck with these for a couple of days? Jesus. It's the... What's it called? It's Maybelline something. Superstay Matte Lip Ink, I think is the name of it. They are not kidding when they say Superstay. A little persuasion and the rest of that mascara came off. Now, if you never watched one of my videos, <laughs> I've been putting on my makeup before I put on anything. Now you know why I have to wear mascara. Because I have no eyelashes without it. I barely even have eyebrows without drawing them too. It's funny. I didn't draw my eyebrows or darken them in in any way for years. It wasn't until I started doing really crazy colors with my hair. And my niece actually, when she would do crazy colors, would use... Um, eyeshadow or eyeliner to do her eyebrows the same color as whatever crazy hair color she had and I was like you know that's not a bad idea and I've never really need to shape my eyebrows like I don't tweeze these that's their natural shape that's the natural whatever I could leave them alone completely if they weren't so freaking blonde you can't say that once I put on all my makeup oh, look at that all that makeup and there was there was heavy primer there was the <sighs> super okay I still have some lipstick I'm telling you that stuff stays on forever but that's pretty good right look at that I might have a little bit of mascara left on this side but I bet you if I just run my fingers all my lashes it'll come right off yep look at that that's all mascara because the oil has loosened it and then it'll just slide right off the lashes with a tiny bit of pressure but i don't want to necessarily put that much pressure on my eyes so there you go so it took about seven minutes and although i got a little bit of red lip left on my lips and maybe a little bit here if i used an actual exfoliating cleaner then that would be gone too. But all of that crazy makeup, all of that liquid eyeliner and all day long lipstick, gone. Coconut oil. I'm telling you, coconut oil is amazing for getting off any kind of stubborn long wear makeup. And if you don't like using coconut oil, like I said, use an oil based cleaner. If you have to remove a lot of makeup, and you don't want to have to scrub your face for an extremely long period of time or use something that dries you out. If you have oily skin, I guess oily probably isn't the best option, but if you use some kind of a, you know, once you use the coconut oil to get it off of your face, then you could use your normal um, oily face cleanser or whatever to get that oil back off. But that's it. I'm going to take the literally literally pin out of my hair let this braid down and i'm going to bed bye